it's like you know exactly what you want to do you you know exactly what like i mean you can hear it in the way you are speaking like like and 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 i and i think a lot of us are looking for that clarity in in and i mean of course i i there was obviously a moment where you were searching yeah and and i guess that searching starts off from a feeling i guess like like you know you want to feel a certain way you might not know what you actually searching for yeah. but the way you are speaking that's how i want to be speaking <laughs> yeah. when like i mean b- because you know we kind of feel like yes we on that way mm-hmm. but we're not there yet mm-hmm. so so you are a perfect example what oh, time for yeah mm-hmm. the idea of this is that you know we have a little glimpse of who you are how how we you you came to be here and you know the other people or the other sfms can also get a better understanding of what christine is about okay so without further ado madam it's all yours nice well thanks first of all for letting me speak here it's nice i really enjoyed your cafe clutch interviews with other people so i was just like yeah this is really cool <laughs> um so a bit about me i was born in germany um in the center of germany with my parents and my little sister melanie i uh, grew up there pretty much i was always quite a curious kid always wanted to learn more had like tons of hobbies i did dancing and i played the accordion which was quite something unusual for for there um and i always loved languages so uh, that kind of took me into a route where i wanted to study languages and culture okay so i went to the south of germany to study there for two years uh, communication and then through this school actually i came to the uk um and that was now about nine years ago when i came to the uk to study at university um and since then i've been here in the uk now but but why did you choose the the uk in particular It was a partner university okay. with with my school in Stuttgart and yeah. had, um and I could do my bachelor in one year so I was like okay I'll try that uh, come to England and yeah that's that's how I came to England and about two years after that I found my boyfriend at work I was working in an e-commerce company as a kind of product translator uh, English to German and that's what I met him and since then we've been living here together um love at first sight always, yes it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely as well because uh, we were working in different departments but he always tried to book meetings with me to oh. like that in was <laughs> <laughs> so sweet <laughs> yeah so we ended up in meetings just talking about each other rather than work <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful yeah. uh, but how did you uh, then how did you end up with uh, because like i'm guessing something prompted you to want to do your own thing or was it always something that you were interested in i guess i think i was actually i was the typical career woman like my parents always told me do well get your promotions and climb that uh, career ladder and i was pretty much doing that until now about a year ago Um and my boyfriend he's a programmer so he has IT knowledge and he's started his own company already and then I saw him living this laptop lifestyle he pretty much could be anywhere and I was stuck in this job thinking I can't go with you so that's one day when we were in Portugal actually on holiday and we were about having to go back to England uh we saw this video by SFM i knew i wanted to do something but i didn't want to do what he does like the programming side did an interest mm. at all um so that's when we then found an opportunity yeah and and and, and you guys have been doing this together ever since right 
So we both started together in the beginning. He was kind of supporting me a bit. Yeah. But because he has got his own business already, he kind of said, oh, no, I'm concentrating on my business. And then even if he still helps me now, and he's also involved in the community, he goes to the events with me, but I'm actually heading up most of the SFM business now myself. There was a second one, which is fulfillment. Um, I felt there has to be something bigger there than just going out the door every day, going to work, sitting at the same office, talking to the same people. Um, you know, I just felt it needs to be something else. Um, I wanted something bigger. Didn't know what that was, but I think I've found it now. And then the third reason is obviously traveling back home to Germany more often to see my family and my sister who now has a baby as well so oh. yeah so <laughs> i want to travel there more often in the past i was only able to go like twice maybe a year mm. and then you kind of run out of days but you also want to do a holiday with your partner you know but you don't have any more t days left or anything so i wanted this location flexibility so okay that's beautiful and and what is it that that makes Christine passionate about the things that you're doing because I mean I I, I, I from the stuff I've seen I, I see that you have a certain drive mm. that could also be from your German heritage but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love networking this is like my top thing that I'm really passionate about Oh, that's brilliant. That, that always gives me energy. That's why I'm everywhere in the tribe as well. And I do have to hold me back sometimes. No, <laughs> so really. Don't spend so much time because I also need to do some, you know, stuff in the background. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah but that's what I really like. That ability that you have now, or that you know, that, you know, with, with networking, you grow, right? Mm. Yeah. You, 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 you actually take a piece of other people from those interactions you have. Yeah, I agree. That's very beautiful how you said that. Yeah, um, and I took most of my knowledge from the community. I mean, yeah. to be honest, I could not have done this on my own. Not at all. I've tried for a year before I joined SFM to do something on my own. Mm -hmm. I was just like reading free resources and trying free courses. Mm. It never got me anywhere. Because when, whenever I got stuck, I didn't know who to ask, really. And yeah, I just want to give back. So this is why I'm also going to the local meetups to help people out. And that's probably where you see me on the pictures. Yeah. And I'm also doing the In Focus call, which is speaking on camera, which I chose because for me, it was so, so hard in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I think it was almost the most difficult thing because I was really shy and kind of introverted as well at that point and I learned so much from everyone even Irene she was great and yeah and now I want to give back so I'm doing the in focus call as well that's speaking on camera you were like the prime example of yeah. uh, and I always say this it's like I I always um with everyone we have interviewed so far this this there's, there's always like a piece of like either piece of yourself that uh, you see in that person or something you would want to be mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. you know and 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 I think the way you are and the way you're describing the things you are doing is, is I think where we would want to be you know so so like slowly slowly getting plugged in and getting involved just connections I love that I really love that and I don't think I could do an online business without a community I think yeah. I lonely at home so because it's one of my biggest values to be connected and to have an impact on other people's lives like when I get up and I get an email it's like oh I got my first lead thank you so much <laughs> I get so excited like just want to go and do more of it and very often as well when we do these interviews I think we impact people behind the scenes mm. maybe those that are not quite ready to come out as much yet but they hear us and then they take something away from it and then they can grow with what we can bring to the world. So I, I love that. I love this interview. What was it about, uh, I mean, was this something that you had in you already or was it something that you learned like from the SFM or from, from being part of the SFM, but this 
this uh, wanting to give back, this uh, wanting to connect? I think I always had it. Yeah. But I think it got a different meaning in SFM. I think before that you kind of do it um, and maybe you don't feel that it's much appreciated. I think at work usually it's like you do quite a lot but in the end of the day it's all about the figures or if you meet your budget or if we meet the goals in a team kind of thing or who gets to the next promotion first. Mm. So I think within the SFM it's just much more appreciated. So. I want to do it even more um, and it's unconditional as you said yeah. I don't expect anything back but then when it comes to actually needing help then you do get it back yeah. you know without expecting it so that's so beautiful about SFM it's rare that you can have a setting that is so rewarding in that way you know that yeah. being helpful towards someone doesn't knock you down yeah absolutely and I think that's wrong in the workplace that's kind of where I see it's a wrong system really it's more it's competitive yeah. yeah and it's often not appreciated like you work your heart and soul out especially people who are very driven do that mm. but yeah I don't know I, I love that a lot about SFM yeah that it's so open and we can help each other yeah I think it's 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 people like yourselves and, and the people that I have uh, interviewed and uh, that I've met like on uh, Momentum Days that give us so much hope, so much... Um, okay. Yeah, because mm. it's true, like, I mean, it, I think my focus came from, and, and being completely honest, I mean, my focus in the beginning was like, of course I'm going to make money, right? <laughs> It's like, I, like I want to make the money and be sitting on the beach and be doing all the stuff and, and you know. But there's and, gotta be more than that. And I think it, you you can't. You, it's it's like I think it 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 almost repels, like, like the whole system repels you when you come with that kind of mindset. I mean, of course, yes, like you need money. It's like it's an important aspect of life, right? But the only way for you to be authentic and genuine. Is to, is to give something of yourself without expecting anything back, you know? Mm. I mean, there, there's, a, there, there's like a, a mind set or a shift in your, in, in like thinking that, that has to come from, from within before you can actually understand what it's all about, you know? Absolutely. And I think when you do that and you do get that nice feeling, then you feel that within. When you get money, well, fine, it's money, it's on there. Yes, it keeps you financially stable. You've got to pay your bills or care for your kids or whatever it is. But I think with that helping and people really appreciating it or people achieving new things, coming out of their shell, finding their voice, whatever it is, you feel it right in there. And that's where the reward really is. And I learned that about myself as well. Whereas before, I did everything for the money, yes. Yeah. That's what we ought to do, that's what my parents did, you know. Um, yeah, I've learned that from the SFM, which is amazing.